The CRP Latex is a slide agglutination test for the qualitative and semi-quantitative detection of C-reactive protein in human serum. C-reactive protein or CRP is a serum protein which is synthesized in the liver. Its rate of synthesis and secretion increases within hours of an acute injury or the onset of inflammation. Apart from indicating inflammatory disorders, CRP measurement helps in differential diagnosis in the management of neonatal septicemia and meningitis. Its use in post-operative surveillance is of great importance. CRP levels invariably rise after major surgery, but fall to normal within 7 to 10 days. Absence of this fall is indicative of possible septic or inflammatory post-operative complications. CRP also provides useful information in patients with myocardial infarction. Before going to the procedure, let's have a quick look how this test works. Latex particles, coated with goat IgG anti-human CRP, are agglutinated when mixed with samples containing CRP. If CRP concentration is greater than 6 mg per liter, a visible agglutination is observed. If its concentration is less than 6 mg per liter, then no agglutination is observed. Here comes the procedure. First, let's see what tools are needed. You will need test cards and reagent set provided with the kit, a micro pipette, pipetting tips, mixing stick, and of course, patient serum sample. The reagent set includes a positive control, a negative control, and the CRP latex reagent. Prepare the patient's serum by centrifuging the peripheral blood sample. What we are going to show today is a qualitative method. Bring reagent and samples to room temperature before use. And follow these steps. Step 1. Place one drop of positive control on circle 1 of the test card, labeled as PC. One drop of negative control on the circle to labeled as NC. And 50 micro liter of serum on circle 3, labeled as S. Step 2. Add one drop of CRP latex reagent on each circle. Do not let the dropper tip touch the liquid on the slide. Step 3. Using a mixing stick, mix the serum and CRP reagent uniformly over the entire circle. Step 4. Drop the slide gently back and forth or place the slide on a mechanical rotator at 100 rpm for 2 minutes and observe for any agglutination in naked eye. You are seeing here, the positive control circle shows agglutination. That proves the validity of the test reagent. If the serum contains detectable level of CRP, it will be interpreted as positive. Then the next thing to do is, you have to proceed for semi-quantitative procedure to measure the CRP level, which we will show in the upcoming video, how to measure CRP level through serial dilution method. Thanks for watching. Stay connected. See you in my next project. Good day.